the most important thing before you get started is to make sure that you have no knots in your hair and everything is very smooth because if you have knots you'll run into problems later. So this is my method. I take a strand of hair and then I run my straightener down sideways from the top to the bottom. And then once at the bottom, I wrap the hair around and curl the hair upwards. So once I drag the strainer all the way down to the bottom, I curl up all my hair and then I hold it at the crown of my head. And then I hold it there for about 10 to 15 seconds and then I unravel it and it is curled. I've been doing it this way since I was like 12 or 13. Typically when I want to curl my hair, I never reach for a curler, I always reach for a straightener. So I do it pretty differently than most. Take note of the strands of hair that I'm grabbing. You want to make sure that they're not too thick because that kind of makes your curl a weird shape. I find that if I grab a certain type of strand, then the curl comes out the same every time. Also, I'm not in my studio today. I'm just in my house because I decided I wanted to curl my hair, so I wanted to record it for you guys. Also, when I posted this on my Instagram that I was going to show you guys how to curl my hair, I got questions on what type of hair I have. I have very thick hair. So on thin hair, you might want to try using a thickening agent or some type of product that will make your hair hold a curl. My hair holds a curl without any product and I don't have any extensions in or anything like that. So that is just how thick my hair is. I can't speak for people who have thin hair who might try this. You will have to use products to make sure that curl stays. I also only use hairspray at the very end. I don't use hairspray throughout. So if you have thin hair, you might want to use hairspray throughout. I also make sure that on both sides of my head the curls are going outwards. So on the left side I curl differently than on the right side. So again I'm just pulling the straightener through and then I'm curling all the hair upwards and then pulling that out. Also, when I have extensions in, I don't curl this way. I actually do curl with a curler because I find that this way is a little bit too rough for the extensions. Like I always end up pulling them out. So I use a curler when I have extensions in. Also, after I'm done pulling it through and wrapping my hair around the straightener, after a few seconds, I just feel if my hair is hot or not. And if it's not hot yet, I know that it hasn't curled as much as I want it to. So I just feel until it gets hot. And then once it is, I just unravel it. Okay, so here's the trick to getting it so huge. I lift my top section up and over and then I grab my bottom layer and then I tease it. Now, this is so bad for your hair to be real, but I don't do it every day. Definitely shouldn't do this every day, but it's the key to my huge hair. And then after I'm done teasing that bottom layer and sprucing it up with my hands, I flip the top layer back over. I repeat this process a few times just to make sure that the bottom layer is all teased and huge. And then I lightly tease the top layer. Before I smooth this all out with my comb, I let it sit for a bit just to set. I go in and hairspray it and then I smooth it all out. And then I just style it how I feel that day. Sometimes I just leave it down and sometimes I tie half of it up. And that is how I curl my hair. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it helped you. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.